Torrential rain this afternoon led to scenes like this, a car mm -hmm. underwater on Canal Boulevard. So how did the driver of that car get out? WGNO's Rick Gogreve talked to him and he's here to tell us. Rick. Susie, floods across the city are common during major storms, and one spot is known for causing havoc for drivers during these wet conditions. Today, it did exactly that as one driver was left stranded after trying to make it across the water. It started at the underpass on Canal Boulevard near Homedale Street when the water began to rise in the dip as the storm raged. One New Orleans resident, Andrew Saida, decided to take a shot at crossing the water after seeing an SUV before him make it. He was close to making it to the other side, but unfortunately wasn't able to as his engine died and left him stranded in rising water. He was eventually able to escape the car unharmed. My front two tires were on dry land, but water kept coming like through the doors. It started coming to the doors. And then I tried to like push out of my doors. It was a struggle, but I was able to get it out. And then I put my car in neutral and I tried pushing it up, but there was just too much water in the car and I just had to, I just had to stop. Witnesses nearby watched as the water slowly rose, submerging the stranded car completely underwater. You hear about it, so, and I'm kind of familiar with this area, so it wasn't surprising, but also I've never been here when it happens. So it was a little, a little crazy and a little chaotic. I saw the canal flooded with water and people were driving and send, send the car stop, um, st stop going. So. It was really concerning, actually. Saida claims, however, that there was nothing on the road to warn him of the dangers ahead and thought it was not as deep as it actually was. I didn't really think anything of it when there wasn't any barricade or the lights weren't on, especially after a car made it, too. I thought it'd be easy for me, too, but it, it really wasn't. As the rain stopped, the drains did their work, swallowing the water and revealing the damaged car that was eventually towed away. It came out of nowhere. I was just I was shocked while it was happening, when it happened, and of course after it happened too, but there's, you can't really prepare for something like that. To help residents avoid flood damages, the city is allowing y'all to park on the neutral ground until tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Susan Gert, back to you. We're glad that driver is mm -hmm. okay. You can replace the car. Thanks, yeah. Rick.